You know what the most popular video has been on my YouTube channel? It has been Cisco's ACI. So I was taking a look at that video and I realized the video was kind of shorting my audience in one area, and that is why in the world did Cisco create this application-centric infrastructure that they're so excited about and so many of my viewers are excited about? Let's take a look at exactly why Cisco moved to ACI with Data Center Technologies in this YouTube video. One of the driving factors behind the invention of ACI from Cisco is definitely how applications are changing. In fact, if you think about just application life cycles now, you understand that they are being broken up into much, much smaller windows. And in fact, when it comes time to bring an application to market nowadays, that is expected to be a smaller overall window than ever. So this rapid change and this rapid velocity with which applications are being created is a major, major driver to technologies like ACI. Another thing is the fact that the application's makeup is really changing. There's much less rigid structures that are encompassing applications today. So Cisco really wanted to provide an infrastructure that would allow for rapid change, rapid restructuring, as things are just so much more flexible. And the ACI brings that to the equation for us. Something else to consider is the incredible emphasis on virtualization now. We have virtualization with hypervisors in more traditional VM environments, but now we're seeing more and more containers coming to the forefront and microservices making solution architectures, and Cisco's ACI really accommodates this heavily virtualized world. Something else to consider is the overall data flow in the data center. Yeah, it used to be our designs emphasized a north to south data flow. So we had this core layer with all this information in it. We had the distribution layer. We had an access layer. And things would be flowing basically from the north down to the south and out of the data center. But now it's much more an east to west flow as microservices are communicating with other nodes in an east to west type fashion. This is one of the reasons why the Cisco ACI architecture that I've shown you on screen here is a very simple two-tier architecture that emphasizes the low latency communications that are going to take place from east to west in the data center. Pretty cool. So Cisco really had a lot of these considerations in mind when they set about inventing the application-centric infrastructure that is really starting to take hold in modern, very high-performance data centers. Thank you so much for watching.